We are now logged into a Cisco Calis 3750 where we will show you some of these show commands. First let's do show VLAN. Here it will tell us a couple things. This will show us that three VLANs have been configured by us, VLAN 4, 100, and 200. Here it will show us that these ports or interfaces are associated to VLAN 200. And next to the VLAN, we see the VLAN name. If we do not configure a name, it will put it into this format of VLAN, then the actual number that was created. Here is VLAN 1, and VLAN 1 can be used for nodes like servers and desktops, but cannot be reamed and it cannot be deleted. And we have four other VLANs which cannot be used or deleted, and it can be seen as more of legacy VLANs. The next command will be show VTP status. And here we can look at a wide variety of things. One, we can see what is our VTP mode configured on the system. We can also see our, VT our domain name. In this case, there's nothing, which is also a default. We can also see information about the number of VLANs on our system, including our configuration revision number, which is three. Next, we're going to a Cisco UC520 to execute the same command. Here we see that this device, uh, BTP mode is transparent. We have configured the domain name to be called Route Hub. We also see that there are 11 VLANs on our switch and that the configuration revision number is zero because this is a transparent device that is not propagated to servers or to clients. Let's do another command. Show interfaces, fast ethernet, the port number, and then switch port. Would tell us details about is trunking. Here we see that we are configured as a trunk and that the operational mode is down because there's nothing connected. We are configured for 802.1Q and that these are the VLAN tags that we are, al that we are allowing across our trunk interface. So now we're back on the 3750 and we're going to look at the span tree instance for VLAN 200. Here we will see a lot of information about span tree and its operations, its port states, etc. For example, gigabit 105, that port is the designated port, is in a forwarding state, and the cost for that port is four. We also see details about the bridge identifier for our local switch, in terms of its priority, even its MAC address, and hello times. We see information about the root bridge, about it also with its priority and address. You will notice that this device is the root bridge for the network. And you can tell that the MAC address um, are identical. Since this is the root bridge, one thing to keep in mind that there are no root ports. So all ports are automatically are designated ports. And here we're using the PBST, which is the legacy span tree protocol. So this concludes our LAN switching at a high level as we talked about some of the protocols and some of the show commands. You can find out more information on how to configure some of these protocols found at routehub.com training found under routing and switching. Thank you for watching.